Okay, hello everyone. Today we have a review of the new laptop from Lenovo company, which was released in 2023. And currently it's one of the best, cheapest laptops available on the market. And the price of it around 300 US dollars. So let's have a review, let's check it out, whether it's worth to buy. And currently it's October 2023, so actually this laptop was released a bit less than one year ago but still it's one of the best option if you want to have a cheap laptop with quite good characteristics and usable for in 2023 so let's check it out basically uh, we have some list of uh, characteristics here actually it's idea pad 1 15 igl 7 that's how lenovo called and named this model it has CPU from Intel N4500, which is 1.1 GHz, 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB SSD, integrated GPU, display 15.6 uh, inches Full HD, uh, 3 cell battery, no S pre install, but I have already installed Windows here, and also it's IPS display here, so it's one of the advantages of this laptop. So let's open it up and see. All right, so let's first unpack it. Actually, we have laptop here. Also in a box, we've got some papers from Lenovo company, which I don't think we need it for now. And the charger, chargers for 45 watt charger here which is, looks quite old school, but for this price, I think it's fine and it's quite light actually. Okay, also for this key, we have additional cable here, which should be connected over there. And it's with Europe black. Okay, so let's put this out, put this out and unbox the laptop itself. Okay, so actually those things we do need for now. Also the box, let's put aside. All right, so let's open the laptop itself. So that's how it looks like from the Nova company here from the top. Of course, it's made from plastic for this price. It's quite uh, well and it's not a big issue. And the quality of plastic is quite fine. And the color is gray. Also, the Lenovo sign is not that huge, and it's from from the side, so it's not really changing the design of laptop. From the bottom, we have some serial number information. We know that it's input 20 volt, 2.5 ampere, and the model you have here is the manufacturer date is May 2023. Also some other information that is not relevant for now. You have some cooling here and two dynamics from left and right. Basically this is what you can find. The battery is built in and not unpluggable. But what I don't really like is that you see here from bottom even if you put a bit more light on it, you can see the chipset or something like that, which is actually open so i don't think it's good as some dust will go in but in general it's fine for this price right from here we've got from the left side we've got dc charging port we've got uh, usb 3.2 also hdmi also 3.2 type c and headphone jack from the right side we've got card reader two indicators of headphones and Power indicator also USB 2.0. That's it what we've got from front side, actually nothing from back side as well. So let's connect it to the charger, open up and do a brief testing. So actually I've connected laptop to the charger and now it's turning on and loading the windows. But what you can see from inside the keyboard the touchpad actually it's not really bad also the camera here let's add some brightness also the camera here so you can close it and open it i see the microphone plus the microphone indicator 
also from here everything made of high quality plastic i can believe the keyboard also feels not bad sound so also okay but actually if you touch it it's fine the power button available here and also one more power indicator indicates here again lenovo from the side which is it's okay actually i don't feel any troubles with this and to what they indicate here that it's ideapad 1i 15 inch then 7 so it's slim slim cover also the camera that can be closed and repeat charge boost so fast charging available for this laptop as well and intel inside of course from if you see here from left side available all right so let's see the main characteristics of it so i will move it closer so let's add the maximum brightness the battery is charging so let's check it out let's open the settings uh, all right we, we need control let me find out so laptop control and let's see what's installed here actually the screen is not bad it's visible from the sides but let's see what's here so from video they call it uh, GPU Intel UHD graphics. Uh, also, let's check the SSD. SSD from Samsung installed here, which is also not bad for 256 gigabytes. Model is following. Uh, sound, real tech, of course. Camera just integrated. And what else we can see here? The screen, just integrate monitor, they call it. Uh, actually, it's a wireless adapter installed, a wireless AC 9560 from Intel, also should work fine and support a AC connection, but without AX connection, but I think it's enough for the next several years, and for budget model, it's actually not bad that already a wireless AC pre-installed here. Uh, from the processor, so two cores, Intel Ceron and 4500, 1.1 GHz available, also card reader, uh, what else can be underlined, actually all the other things are very common and installed in any laptop, Bluetooth 5.1 available on the board as well. Actually, let's test it out how it works, just how fast it works, how fast it, it opens, the websites, etc. So actually, it feels fine. Let me just try to change the characteristics of power, maybe. For power itself, so we, I've pre-installed Windows 11, which was installed without any issues here. Uh, I want to change some power options to make the full usage. So now it's balanced. Let's put maximum productivity here. Let's open the task manager and check out how it's loaded. All, all right, so as you see from the memory, memory is using 3.4 out of eight, but this one is like fresh, brand new, um, and just installed Windows 11 with all the updates, and we've got eight gigabytes of memory with a speed of uh, 2933 megahertz, and it's only one slot, so it cannot be expanded. So the eight gigabytes is the maximum the format uh, SODIMM uh, also regarding the processor so we've got one socket two cores two logic processors and visualization is on cache is available here and basic speed is 1.11 uh, gigahertz but for now as you see processor is using 2.6 gigahertz so I think it's maximum Let's try to open Google. So 2.6, 2.7, the memory is still here. SSD is only 2-3% loaded. It's uh, 239 gigabytes available. Actually not bad and I think speed should be fine for Wi-Fi. So I've connected to Wi-Fi 
uh, AS, which is 5 GHz, working 5, and in G, uh, Intel UHD graphics, uh, 4 GB reserved for the GPU. But as you see, processor is always shown 100%, and based on processors itself, what's loading it is just a task manager and some windows things are loading it uh, really well so as you see 100 percent but it should be efficient processor as well so let's just test it out uh, intel 405 yeah so this one Actually, we have this processor here and we can find some description of it. So actually, it's, it's 10 nanometers processor, two cores, two threads. Uh, the burst frequency is 2.10 gigahertz. The base one is 1.1, 1 .1, uh, four megabyte of cache. And uh, the power consumption is around uh, 4.8 watt. And this processor is not new, it was released in 21, 2021, so, but still installed on laptop. So the maximum memory speed as is used here, the two channels supported, but uh, this laptop has only one channel and the memory type LPDDR4X. Uh, also regarding the graphics, the GPU, basically uh, it's uh, the burst frequency is 750 MHz. Uh, supports 4K, but this is a full HD monitor here installed. There is uh, all right. So basically, this one is not relevant here. USB ports. So in general, this processor, of course, is a budget processor, which is actually uh, uh, based on the 2021 uh, Intel uh, Celeron processor. And it should work fine with all the tasks, uh, like office tasks, but not of course for gaming. But as, as you see, it's always loaded, which is interesting. So it's always around 100%. Maybe some updates on going, I don't know. That's why it's consuming a lot. But if you start to open some tabs very fast, like that, go, go. And it's, it will be always loaded, as you see and uh, even Microsoft Edge can load it to 100%, but from memory perspective, we have only 50% uh, occupied, which is quite fine. And SSD also used up to 10%, so only processor is using more than another. In general, this laptop should be good if you need some office laptop, which will be used uh, purely for some office apps, for internet browsing, and especially for this price, $300, uh, it's a really good option. Uh, and I think uh, I will test out a bit more. And in case you still have some question, you can leave it in the comments below. Put the thumbs up and see you next time.